Praise God, praise God. If you see my title, then you already know what it says. Thus saith the Lord, stop listening to preachers, prophets, gospel artists. It does not matter who it is that has strange fire. What is strange fire? You know how something can sound good. I'm talking about, let, let me just go here. I've heard a lot of preaching in my whole life. I'm talking about um, 50. I'll be 51 next month. And just to be honest with you, I've been in ministry 23 years. And that was as of May 9th. I've seen a lot. Man, I've seen real ones come down. I'm talking about if I start naming names and y'all go Google them. There were some real men and women. Oh, my God. I don't know how it happened. But do I? Maybe I do. They start fellowshipping with somebody that wasn't of God, and then they fell. That's why I'm very, very peculiar with who I associate with. I used to, and I'm going in tonight. I used to want to associate with the big names and people that everybody, man, I'm not trying to be funny or anything. Some people ain't got no annoying. Yeah, they sound good. They look good. And, and, and guess what? I would look good, too, if I didn't have that kind of warfare I have. I'm talking about sharp all the time. <laughs> Y'all ain't ready for me. Man, when you have a true authentic anointing, you in warfare a lot. So you don't have time to look cute because I'm too busy on my face trying to survive, trying to thrive, trying to, God, anoint me some more. I need some more help. Hallelujah. They come and they're here. Too many of you are listening. You're not guarding your gates and strange fire is coming in. Y'all wonder, well, wait a minute. And then y'all in covenant with strange fire. What is in covenant with y'all sowing into people in strange fire? If you got some things going on, you need to look in every area of your life. Who are you connected with for real? It does matter who's in your ear. It does matter who's who's giving you um, godly advice. It does matter. Let's go hear about the gospel music. Gospel music is not the same like it used to be. I don't care what nobody say. When Kirk Franklin got with Kanye West, Kirk Franklin ain't been the same. It that don't even look like Kirk. Kirk look like got lipstick. I don't even know who that is. Point blank in the story. He don't even sound right. But they sound good. Leandra. Everybody know Leandra can blow. But she but she's lost her anointing, right? That's what I'm saying. And it's not to bash anybody. I'm not on here to bash anybody. I'm here to tell you the truth before God. And what is the truth? Too much strange fire in these churches. Ain't even of God. And how you know? Because people are not being healed and delivered for real. People are not being saved. See, I don't care how good you can sing. I don't care how good you can preach. You have the anointing to stop what's going on at 3 o'clock in the morning with demons. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. Or if somebody possessed. Or if somebody need a job. Or, or y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Can you lay hands on somebody and they recover it all? Hallelujah. Can you lay hands on them and, and, and they be healed? That's what I'm talking about. Not that strange fire to where you, you, you feel emotionalism. You ever been in a church where I'm talking about you hyped up and you feel an emotionalism and I'm talking about hallelujah. And then as soon as you get in the car, a crash. That was not the authentic anointing. That was emotionalism. And, and guess what? They know how to psych you up. They know how to make, oh, you're going to get a blessing. Oh, God going to give you this. Can I tell you something? God can't bless no mess. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. If you are not walking in honor, integrity, obedience, you will not get the authentic blessing of God. Now, remember the Bible says that he then being even, even know how to bless. Now, let's talk about that. And the, the, the blessings of the devil, they always come with something bigger. I mean, it, it's like, wait a minute, I, I, this ain't no blessing. Come on, somebody, how many times you've had those type of blessings? Be mindful. Of who you listen to. Be mindful of who you allow into your spirit. Be mindful of who you connect with. Be mindful of what you listen to. I can't listen to all kind of gospel music. It sounds good. But my spirit start. I, I start feeling weird. Because there's no anointing. Come on somebody hallelujah. And there is a difference. Let me tell you something. What's wrong with this church right now. And I'm talking when I say the church. Because that's what God looks at. The church. Everybody running after a dollar. You don't even care if the person anointed. Just as long as they making that money. Honey, I don't care how much money you have. I'm not connecting with you if you ain't right. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. Everybody that and their mama got a brand. Hello? I want to know, have you been with God? Have you been in the presence of God? Do you really know God? 
Are you saved for real? Are you perpetrating? Oh, come on, somebody. Are you looking for a wife in church? Are you are you looking for somebody to con in church? Are you looking for some sex in church? Yeah, I say it. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. And then it's, it, it then got so crazy to people dress any kind of way in church now. I went into this last church and they, I mean, skirts up here, tight dresses. I thought I was in a club, truth be told. I couldn't understand what was going on because if you truly had God and you're not, hold on. If you just start and get saved, I know everything is a process, but you and I both know even during the process, whoever the shepherd of that house, it's a way that you come into a house of God. It is the way that you act with God's people. It's a way what you say and what you do. So don't complain me about that judge stuff because that's what's wrong with the church now. We let too much go because we didn't judge it. Hallelujah. And now we have a mess that then turned into a message and now you got half people that's not known. Half people don't know what they're doing And the other half don't know protocol And so now you got a whole a whole mess And you got people laughing at the church in this hour But God Oh come on somebody hallelujah God got a remnant and he bringing up a remnant That's going to walk in order Talk in order, live in order Move in order And you're going to know because it's the Holy Ghost Hallelujah because God is a God of order There is so much out of order right now It ain't even of God Hallelujah to his name Check everything. I don't care if it was me. Check that at the door. If your spirit is vexed, that's not of God. Hallelujah. And honestly, when you have the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit going to check anything anyway. Oh, yes. That's what he does. There's a spirit of conviction. There's a spirit of wisdom. There's this, this called spiritual discernment. I just got through saying that on the last video. That all that tie together and stop accepting just anything. I can't, I, I want to accept just anybody just saying anything, doing anything, preaching anything. Come on, somebody singing anything. And the first thing they say, oh, you hate, hating on what? They're not annoying it, hating on what? If they die there tomorrow, are they going to, uh, hating on what? We got to come together. We got to come together and we got to keep it together. Oh, I just said something. We got to come together and we got to keep it together. It's time for the, us to go back. Don't you know, y'all don't see what's happening in the world? That's the church fault. That's the church fault. I'm going to say it again. That's the church fault. We not praying. We not girding people. We in and out. We in and out the church because it's all about, oh, I got to do this. I got to do that. We got to go back to them shut-ins. God have me. This is my third time saying it on here. Prayer shut in. I'm talking about when we used to labor for each other. You know what I'm saying? Too many people hurting at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. And they they scared to tell y'all what they're really going through because they don't know if it's going to come across the pulpit or if somebody going to say it. Hallelujah. Or if everybody going to just talk in the church. God is so tired of that mess. All God wants is his church back in order. And trust me, he says it's going to be in order. Hallelujah to his name. He's correcting everything now. Hallelujah. For judgment begins in the house of God. Hallelujah. It's not about money. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. It's about peace. Some people don't even have peace. What is peace? He said, I give you my peace, not like the world, because in the world you will have no peace. Hallelujah. So this is going to be a short video because I'm just telling you what thus said the Lord. Hallelujah. And I'm going to tell you right now, I got to say something. <sighs> Some people got a problem with me because I'm going to tell what God said to tell it. And it don't matter. So let me go ahead and tell you how this is supposed to go. When you have a mandate over your life, no one is exempt. Not even me. If I do y'all, everybody have the right to call me on it. So if you think that I'm not going to call you, you are highly mistaken. Mother, brother, sister, cousin, it don't matter who you are. So do not ever think that you are exempt. And I'm saying it to say, we as a church have forgotten the standard of God. That doesn't mean people don't love you. But I remember when I was young, they had a standard. When you were walking the church, you, you, you'll pull out your gun. Because you knew it was anointing. You knew that was honor. You knew that was integrity. You saw that man or that woman of God when they had the robes. Because that, that's what they don't need to go back to the robes. Let me tell you. And, and I got to go here because I feel the spirit of God lead me here. The reason why God wanted everybody in robes, because when you look at their robe, you say, that's a man, a woman, of God. Now, you're looking at him in a suit. Oh, he fine. That's Pastor. Oh, Pastor fine. Or oh, in his jeans. Now, you're looking at a woman with her breasts all like, oh, 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 so she fine. Yeah, yeah. You're supposed to go back to the robes. So, let me go back on my journey. 
when we used to step in church, we felt the anointing of God. We felt that there had to be order of God. And trust me, it was men and women that made sure it was order. Now, if you got a little money, you can do what you want in the church, honey. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. You think it's a game? If you got a nice body, you can be a gospel artist. Mm, did I just say that? Oh, sorry, not sorry. So now you start slowing flesh. Because you got to use what you got. And then after they use you, they're going to throw you away too. That's what's happening. Stop letting the devil use you. Unless anybody. Stop it, stop it, stop it. In Jesus Christ of Nazareth name. You are worthy. You are more than that. Unless every last one of you, man, woman, child, it does not matter on here. Hallelujah. Love yourself, God says. You are a child of the living God. Act like it, walk like it, talk like it, be like it. Have some honor. Have some integrity. Have some courage. Stop lying. Stop playing games. Come on, somebody. Guard yourself and gird yourself. Devil not playing. Steal, kill, and destroy. Every day, he's on his job. It's time for us to get on our way, said the Lord. All right, God bless you. I love you. I love you. I love you through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I'm going to tell it. I'm going to tell you. I... Y'all don't understand why I'm so passionate. Let me share this before I get on here. I'm supposed to be dead. No, y'all don't hear me. The life I used to live, if y'all go to Abbeville, Louisiana, they'll tell y'all I was a mess and I was rough. A gang material, what I didn't do. I ain't never killed nobody. Thank you, Jesus. Came close. I, would, I, I just knew I was going to die at 30. And when God saved me, the same way, that I was on them streets doing all that crazy stuff. It's the same way that I was going to give him my all and my all. That's why I ain't scared of nothing and don't, don't care. Mm. That's why I'm so passionate. Seven times my life almost got snuffed away. And he couldn't. And that last time, I still don't know how I got out of that situation. So I owe him everything. And I ain't the only one, by the way. Because when Jesus Christ, hallelujah, died on that cross for you, me, we owe him everything. And some people, they only want to take, take, take. But what about what he gave and what he took for you? The cat of nine tails that tore his skin, literally tore his skin, literally tore his skin. Oh, come on, somebody. Let's talk about it. But yet we'll, we'll pray, God, I want this. God, I want that. Why not just, God, what will you have me to do? Here's your servant. I'm your servant. What do you want me to do, God? If you don't bless me no more, God, if you don't do nothing no more, God, I owe you my everything. We don't have them kind of prayers no more. Everybody just want what they want. Have you ever stopped and asked God what he wants from you? What he desires for you to do? His will, his way? Hallelujah to his name. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers for that is who you are. God bless. <laughs>